another episode of Hayley's Help. Today, I wanted to show you um, something new that I've got in my house. I did say to you a few vlogs ago that um, in my new home, I'm going to be showing you new decor that I'm getting to like furnish it and different furniture. And the first thing comes in the form of this. It's a sofa. Um, this is the sofa that we've gone for. The colour scheme I'm going for in this lounge after much deliberation, it's so hard picking colours, um, is going to be this kind of dark green, a dark grey, white, and then just splashes of gold. So it isn't completely finished yet. I am going to continue coming back on and doing more episodes to show you guys the different things that I'm doing. But eventually, this is going to be a real kind of lovely gold and green and dark grey ambient lounge. And talking about ambient lounge, that is where this rose sofa is from. The reason that I decided to go for this sofa was, as we all know, I kind of want to furnish this house with things that are a bit quirky, a bit different, things that potentially not every single person is gonna have just sitting around in their kind of lounge. I like things that are a bit different. That said, the England squad do have this very sofa right here that they do lounge on at the moment for the World Cup in their hotel room. So, well done boys, that was a good choice. Um, and it's super comfy, this particular one. It's It looks different, but it's also really comfy. It's really, really lightweight as well. So. This is kind of like ideal for if um if you're if you do move your furniture quite a lot. I tend to move my furniture all the time because I just feel that I have said this before, when you move furniture around, it enables you to really give it a deep clean and get underneath and nowhere kind of goes untouched because you will end up with loads of dust accumulating behind things. So I like things that you can easily move and this is super duper easy like you can just pick it up and move it and all the different components they zip together and this took me maybe I brought the whole thing in myself because the delivery drivers were awesome and I was delayed on my school run because I was gassing on the phone to my run for hours and um, I wasn't actually home and they left it in my garden because it's a secure garden and I came back and I was able to move the whole thing into my lounge area and put it all together and it maybe took me under 10 minutes to do that. So that was also really good. I do really like as well the fact that you, this is really, really easy to clean. So you can basically, the whole lot can go into your washing machine and be actually cleaned properly. So rather than having to like scrub at it with a wet rag, like, and I wouldn't do that that often because I don't think it's necessary. But, you know, once every year, say, or every year and a half, I know that I can completely collapse the whole thing and give it a really good wash um, through the washing machine. So that is another Brucey bonus on the Ambient Lounge sofa. <laughs> with this particular sofa, what you can actually do with it is you can add different parts. So here is kind of like a footstool thing. That's just over in this corner for now. But you can have that kind of so it's like, so for cinema nights, which is a firm favorite in our household, we kind of all just snuggle up on here and it's like really, really comfy. Like my eldest son was saying, can he use this as his bed instead of his actual bed? And I was like, absolutely not. That said though, these are so easy to move around, they are ideal for that. So if you wanted to have some upstairs, um, in your upstairs bedrooms, they're perfect for that. If you're, um, you know, m moving your furniture all the time or like in your conservatory, they're perfect for that. And what my plan is eventually to do with these particular ones is you can buy add-ons so I can get more of these chair bits and then I can just um, add them on to the unit itself and kind of have a really long sofa and then we can all play that game that we all know and be like Sofa 
is if you do ever move house and you have this it makes it just so much more easier to move so you can just like if you wanted to walk it to your new property even if it was quite far away you actually could like say you didn't have a car and you were moving to like i don't know four streets down you could like get everyone to chip in and take a piece and you could just all kind of um you know just walk around with the ambient lounge furniture as an accessory like i mean have you seen my bag it's by ambient lounge i'm just saying now i'm gonna move on to my top tips for keeping your sofas clean now the first one is hoover 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 or vacuum 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 whatever word you use it's the same thing just do that on the sofa so make sure you hoover or vac off any kind of um we don't have any food in this lounge but if you do then just make sure you hoover off any of the crumbs or any stuff like that and also it's always good to hoover your sofas anyway because naturally there will be dust on them and you can't get a polish out and start spraying polish and polishing it up unless you've got leather sofas then obviously you can but on a fabric sofa definitely the best thing to use is a vacuum slash hoover to get rid of any dust that might be lurking there you can also use bicarbonate of soda so you can sprinkle that on and just give it a little rub in and then back it off and that will freshen up your fabric sofas nicely obviously you don't want to start going mad and spraying loads of chemicals and stuff on the sofa itself the only thing that i would say if you have got it that would be okay to use is Dettol do like a um it's like a disinfectant mist so rather than saturating the sofa i have it in my cupboard it's a really 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 fine fine mist that you could just give it a quick spritz over um and that's not going to saturate it don't start using loads of liquid stuff like before i obviously had a leather sofa I would religiously bleach it and I would also steam it as well. Um, so with fabric, I mean, you can give it a quick blast of steam, but I really don't think it would be necessary. And that's why I love this sofa so much because actually I can just wash the covers in my washing machine rather than kind of covering it in steam and all the rest of it. And it's that for me is a massive time saver as well, I think. like where I can just actually put the covers in the machine and then dry them and also it will be delightful because they will smell of blue flavour eventually. My final tip for cleaning sofas isn't actually for the sofa itself, it's more for underneath it, but just always make sure that when you are doing your daily cleaning, just pull your sofa out and clean underneath it. Obviously, that's quite easy with this one because it is so lightweight. Um, if you have a heavier sofa, it's obviously gonna be a bit more tricky, um, but try and find a way where you can actually get under the sofa itself because there will be so much dust that will be accumulating under there and it's really bad for you as well dust like especially if you i have to be quite careful because my son has like allergies so i have to make sure the house is you know quite um clean all the time but um just make sure that you're getting underneath the the sofas because there will be so much dust like that thick if you've left it for quite a while I'm sorry to be the burden of bad news. I'm like the Grim Reaper today, delivering bad news for the world. But it's true. You just need to pull your sofa out and hoover underneath it and you'll be fine. And we can all just live in peace and harmony again. Thanks so much for watching my vlog, guys. And like I said, I am gonna be continuing to bring you all the different furnishings and fixtures that I have placed within the home. I've got some really cool stuff coming up, including ways to like make your house look bigger, different color schemes to use, to change your moods, and different plants that are really good for you, and like lift your moods as well. So keep tuned and keep watching Hayley's Help. I love you guys so much, keep subscribing because it is filling my heart with joy and don't forget to head over to my musically because i'm on there now and also don't forget to 
go over to my Facebook page. I have been really, really slack on my Facebook page because Instagram kind of flies over my posts to my Facebook and my Twitter. And so I'm gonna stop using Facebook um, to kind of speak to you guys more. I'm gonna be doing more questions and answers for you. So make sure you follow me over there too. I'm also on Pinterest and all of those are under the name Hayley's Help, so look out for that. And I will see you all again next time with some more shenanigans on my channel. If you liked this video, give it a like and adios amigos. Today's episode, I am going to be showing you lot how to clean high gloss surfaces. This is where you want to be. The magic is going to happen right here. You can't do that with high gloss. So put the bleach back in your cupboard, save it for another day, use it for the toilet, use it for your sink, don't put it on me. Think of your um, high gloss unit as you've just gone into a nail salon and they've done like a fresh set of acrylics. I mean, you want to keep those looking fresh. We're not going to be doing this round and round and round. We're going to be doing this up and down strokes when a perfectly decent unit then has to hang out with like a mouldy mattress and be like hi mate this is really awkward but my owner um used an abrasive cloth on me so i ended up here and i feel like i've got a longer lifespan than this they're kind of like think of them like um we can call them hips because they're Hayley's hips. Like, think of me as your very own Shakira. My hips don't lie. And these are gonna be very useful for you if you've got high gloss furniture.